Josh, how you, how you doing today? How's practice? I'm doing well. Uh, practice was okay today. Um, I just feel like we, we got to get better at the details, you know, uh, just continue to get better at executing. I want to ask you, uh, just what were your reaction and emotions when uh, JT went down on Saturday? Um, uh, I was I was a little nervous, you know. Uh, of course, I, we didn't know what it was at the time. Um, my initial reaction was I didn't I didn't think it was too like too bad. Um, I've seen like I've seen him carry three three people before, you know. Um, so I looked away and I turned back, and when I turned back, he was still on the ground. So. I just wanted to go over there see what um, see what was going on. How, how big of a loss of it is that for you guys? Um, losing JT is is huge. Um, y'all know the the playmaker he is. Um, uh, how he attacks the ball when the ball's in the air. Um, how he blocks uh, when the ball's not in his hand. Um, his personality on the sideline. Uh, losing him is is pretty big. So um, I feel like I I got to do a, a good job of uh, keeping the team up. Um, just. Just trying to, trying to, I guess, substitute um, for the energy that, that JT brought. Um, so yeah, it was pretty big. Is there anything that you can say to him that, I mean, are there words that you can even say to him that it was just like, hey, look, not only do we have your back, but get better, get stronger, and come back next year and we'll be fine? Yeah, um, so when, when it happened, I just, all I, me personally, all I, I, all I know to do is, is to pray. Um, so I just immediately start praying for him. Um, just off of experience, I've never been I've never been hurt to that um, to that ex- uh, extent. Um, if the Lord says the same, it won't. But um, all I could tell him is to just stay encouraged and to just uh, continue to trust in God. Um, I've never been there, so uh, just off experience, I couldn't tell him nothing. Just to to trust God. Does him being out change anything for you and kind of your role in the offense? Um, not necessarily change the role. I, I think I'll be moving around a little more, um, but um, it doesn't change my role. I, I still feel like I gotta uh, do my job. I gotta catch the ball when the ball is thrown to me. I gotta help lead my team. Um, you know, all, all the same stuff. How do you think this changes things for you guys overall? Do you just plug in the next guy at receiver? Do you maybe do some more two tight end sets, or what do you see yeah. going forward? So, um, I ne- like like Coach says all the time, next man up. Um, it, it hurts that we lost JT, but um, we, we we still got to keep going. You know, we have another game coming, so um, next man up. You know. Have you seen Taiki respond? Do you feel like he's ready for that opportunity? Yeah, um, he he scored last game, so I I feel like I feel like he's pretty uh, confident in what he has to do. Um, I feel like uh, over time he's been getting better at practice, just uh, working at the details, getting game reps and everything. So yeah. As one of the leaders and the older guys on the team, do you talk to him or give him any advice about how to handle this opportunity? Uh, yeah, for sure. Just uh, continue to stay ready. Uh, I feel like he's been ready uh, all year to, to show what he has. So um, now his time is here. So I just hope he continues to show that on the field when he gets his chance. Overall, you guys are you know five and zero in the conference. How are you feeling about where the team stands right now? Um, I feel good. Um, I still feel like we haven't played our best game of football yet. And, but like you said, we're five and zero. So um, I, I feel like. Um, we're we're still hungry. Um, just just like I always say, get better at the details. You know, just win a day and get better than the last week. You guys come into this game this weekend as like a twenty point favorite. Have you talked about kind of how to handle that and, and not getting uh, overconfident? Just just continuing to to uh, win the day. You know what I'm saying? Go to work. Uh, keep our head down. And uh, LaTeX a pretty good team. You know, so um, their their record doesn't reflect it. They they played a a, a hard schedule. Um, so. Uh, just keeping our head down to work, you know, coming to beat the next team. What are, what are they showing on film on the defensive side that you guys are going to have uh, some challenges to deal with them? Um, I feel like they do a lot of stuff. They play, they play man. They play uh, three sky boundary. Um, they play four. Um, they, I feel like they play a good amount of coverages. So we just got to uh, tune into what they're doing and just uh, as we play them, just tune into what they're doing uh, in live action so we could provide feedback for the coaches. Last week was, I think, the first time this year the offensive line played all the way through. Was it meaningful for you with all the bumps and bruises they've taken to see in that group be able to get some stability? As as you say that, and I'm thinking about it, I I didn't even like notice that, but um, I think it did help. Um, just just it it provides more chemistry throughout the game. I feel like more rhythm. Uh, you don't have to adjust to the next guy that's uh to the guy that's next to you. Um, so yeah, I I think the chemistry uh was better throughout the game. Thanks, Josh. All right, Josh. Thanks. Appreciate it.